Today we're going to be doing a 2015 Mitsubishi Outlander. We're going to be doing a remote start with keyless entry. this screw here and this screw here to be able to take this shroud off and to be able to take this bottom piece off. And there's also a little clip right here that you unclip on the bottom of this to pull this whole piece out. So we've taken this whole piece off here and the whole shroud off of here. So, that we, so we've removed this whole shroud to get to this area because that's where all the wires are in the fuse box here. And then over here, everything is all gonna be at the ignition switch. So basically, right there. Oh, if I can find it. It should be right around here. But we're gonna basically go, everything goes at the ignition switch. And over here at the fuse box. Okay, so we unplugged this plug here from right here. So basically this is the ignition switch right here, which one's down here. And uh, you're basically going to have this brown with red, purple, and then blue with red. Those are going to be your three ignition, accessory, and start wires. So those are the three that you will want to use right there in those pin locations. And I'll tell you which one is which. Down here at the OBD2 underneath the fuse box right here, you're going to need this yellow and brown. Those are your can high and can low wires. They're usually twisted and this pair is actually twisted in here. So you're gonna need both those wires as well. Okay, here's a video of the diagram right here. So these are your three ignition wires, ignition, accessory, start. And there's your diagram on how those go in. Same way with your 12 volt wire, which is gonna be in your fuse box over here. And then here's this, which is your lock, unlock, your key sense, and then your IP, I, I think it's called an IP bus data or LIN data, and then your can high, can low. That's all your wires. Now, on those wires, let me show you too. Here is the color code. So lock and unlock is gonna be gray, pink, black, and then can high, can low is yellow and brown, so yellow is gonna be your can high, brown is gonna be your can low. LIN bus is green, key sense is blue, Start is purple, accessory is blue red, and ignition is brown red. 12 volt is going to be blue. And it tells you all the locations of where everything's at as well. All right, so we have our can high, can low tapped. Down here, you know, if you look at this, the way the schematic is, you got your pink wire, we cut our blue wire, which is the key sense, and then we have our gray wire for keyless, and then green wire for data. Those are all tapped, just like the schematic. We have our blue wire right here, which is tapped for the 12 volt. And then our ignition accessory. Everything's all right here. So basically you're gonna have the ignition accessory. And I can't remember what the third one is, but we have all those right there into the ignition harness. This is everything we're gonna be using. The Arctic Start Flex remotes. This is the CM900 brain, which on the bottom part right here, this is where our blade module slides into. There's our blade A all with the wiring harness, our secondary harness for the 900, and our primary main ignition harness. Those are everything that we're gonna be using, and the antenna's in this box right here. So, those are all the parts that we're gonna be using. All right, we got everything wired up here. You're gonna use, basically on this brain, you're going to use the main ignition harness, the blade harness, and this is a secondary harness. The only wires you're gonna use off of this is the blue with the blue-green. That's for the keyless. These wires are de designated in the um, diagram I showed you. You're only gonna use ignition, accessory, and starter, constant and ground on this main ignition harness. So if you follow these down here where we have them, everything's down here. The only thing that's not in the diagram is you always have to ground it. So these are gonna be your main ignition harness, you know, blue, you know, white, and then yellow. Um, in the same way with all these, you're gonna have your, um, these are going to be your lock and unlock, 
And then these are all your, you know, can high and your data wires and then your constant wire right here. So everything's all wired up in there for you. All right, the first three wires we're going to hook up is the ignition wires, which we have yellow start going to blue red. We have accessory going to purple. And this is supposed to be green. I accidentally jumped the wrong wire. So there is a green wire connected to the brain. I accidentally just jumped this blue wire all the way up. So just think of this blue wire as being green for ignition is going to the brown with the red. And then we're gonna plug this back in and then this part will be done. All right, we got our 12 volt connected, our ground ran. And then we got our two can high, can low wires. The rest of our wires are all connected back here to this harness. So everything's connected, so we are ready to start programming the bypass at this point. So this is how you're going to program the bypass. You slide the cartridge in, and you insert the key into the ignition, turn the key to the ignition on position. The light will light up blue, turn the key off, and the module program is complete. That is on a standard key, not the fast key. So that's how you do this. All right, we're gonna program these remotes by cycling the key five times in the ignition. You'll hear the brain click when you actually do that. So I'm gonna show you, you're gonna to need to go one, two, three, four, five. Hear that click, hit lock. It's gonna to click to let you know it's done and turn the ignition off. Then this should remote start. So if we go down here to our little key, we hold that. Unit's gonna come on, and it's gonna remote start. That's it. Went ahead and cleaned all these wires up and zip tied them to make it look nice to when we're going into here, and then we're gonna hide the brain probably back up here. And we'll zip tie it up into there, but we want to clean everything up so it looks really nice. 2015 Mitsubishi Outlander remote start by Arctic Start. We also did lock and unlock for keyless entry.